Welcome back to Jersey Matters. I'm Larry Menti. There is this continuing controversy about Columbus Day. In certain parts of the state, they celebrate Indigenous Peoples Day. So what is it? Our Kimberly Kravitz dives right into the debate. New Jerseyans across the state are celebrating Christopher Columbus Day, but here in Princeton, they are observing Indigenous Peoples Day. And they're not alone. This town joins more than 100 cities in the U.S. who have been looking to replace or rename Christopher Columbus Day, which has been a federal holiday since 1934. What we are doing is rewriting history. Princeton Councilmember Leticia Fraga believes they are not replacing Columbus Day. We're not, per se, replacing Columbus Day. Uh, we chose the day because uh, back in the early 1970s, uh, where there were indigenous peoples who came before the United Nations to advocate for uh, recognition of uh, the indigenous peoples uh, to be observed on the second Monday of October. But Italian-American groups such as John Scarpati's are very disturbed by this. History is history. If they want another day, pick another day, okay? They can march up and down the street, show their butts, wear sunglasses, and hold signs. That's up to them, okay? But don't fool around with the Italian history that we have in this country. Newark was the first city in New Jersey to sign an executive order against Columbus Day and reintroduce the second Monday in October as Indigenous Peoples Day back in 2017. What are your thoughts on doing Indigenous Peoples Day on another day of the year? Uh, it was very meaningful for us to do it on this day. I must say we did it by unanimous vote. I think it just feels right uh, that it should have always been named that way. Looking at the whole thing from an outsider's perspective, I think it's a more fitting name. Some people have the perfect resolution. No, I think uh, you maybe you have two holidays, one for each. We spoke to a group of indigenous people to get their take on the holiday. It's important because it gives a little hope that the true history of the Ramapo people can finally come forward. Essentially, without the help of my ancestors, there would have been no way to share our history. I think it's apparent to everyone that Columbus was more of a mercenary and that the Italian people have many more wonderful heroes to put up instead. I think we should honor the greats of the Italian people, other than pretending Columbus was the hero. They didn't do enough research on Columbus to find out what he really did and didn't do. If there were our uh, Italian-American uh, residents who wish to uh, advocate for uh, Italian Heritage Day, I would be on board with that. Princeton and Newark have removed Christopher Columbus Day off of their calendar as millions of Americans continue to celebrate this holiday as a part of their culture. Reporting from Princeton, I'm Kimberly Kravitz for Jersey Matters. All right, thanks a lot, Kimberly. As you know, there's a crisis in Newark with the lead in the water, and that could spread to the whole state unless something's done. We'll have a report from Trenton and what they plan to do about it when Jersey Matters comes right back.